Hello there, I'm Tenran432, and welcome back to Shadow of the Colossus, the game where we try to kill giants, but we have no consequence of falling off of them because uh, there's no fall damage in this game. Well, that was actually about a quarter of my health that I just lost, but whatever, it's no problem. In the last part, we tried to find the next Colossus, the next one, the seventh one, I think it is, and it's my least favorite because I can never find it after or in a short time and, and guess what happened I, I couldn't find it so we're gonna have to keep going I believe I know where it is but I will not believe I know where it is until I know where it is so let's keep going <sighs> did I say that aggro can be kind of strange sometimes yeah for this part I just got frustrated there and just abandoned the horse because obviously I can go faster without it. Yeah, as you can see here, you really can't get anywhere in the game without aggro. So even though it's frustrating at times to control the horse, you, you need her. You need, you need that horse to get her anywhere, really. Or it'll take. It'll take quite a little, quite a while longer. That whistling sound does kind of get annoying, though. Eh, she'll she'll come up eventually. She'll know I'm sorry for abandoning her right there. I'm sorry, Agro. Please come back. She's not coming back, is she? All right, I guess I'll have to walk this way, all alone. I don't know if I pointed this out before, but up in the sky, there's those uh, beams of lights up there. Oh, there's Agro. But anyway, those beams of lights, those are the locations of the Colossus that you've killed. So, I always thought that was cool. Just... I'm not sure what they are, though. In the new version... Let me see if I can find an image here. In this image from the PS4 version, the portal or the pillars of light look more like portals into the sky, and uh, maybe that'll be important later. I don't know. Anyway, let's keep going to find that Colossus. Sorry about this. I had to fast forward a little because it turns out I did not know the way to the Colossus, and I was walking around for another 15 minutes, unaware of where to go, and I still don't know where I am. Now I'm back in the place where this shrine here. But whatever. I'm doing some lizard hunting. And just like that, with one arrow, we managed to get a lizard. It's like I'm getting better at this after practicing it. Strange how that works, isn't it? But anyway, let's save real quick, then I'll fast forward. See you in a sec. Well, I'm pretty sure this is where the Colossus is, after a long time of searching. I finally found it. Anyway, we're gonna go up this hill, and we got some interesting structures here. It's like this was something important at some point in time. We got the pillars and the little gate here, and then inside of here, yeah, cutscene, we're in the right place. We got this lake, what's that shiny thing down there? I don't know. All these pillars in the background, they all look, those little poles, they look pretty ominous. This broken bridge looks pretty weird. And that glowing thing down there looks pretty strange. But you know what we have to do? We have to kill the Colossus, so what we're gonna do is just jump down there. Why not? Actually, before we do that, there's, there's something very important that I have to do. J just one second. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry about that. I just got hungry for some peanut M&Ms in the middle of a video. Just, you know, happens sometimes when you're a YouTuber. Anyway, this Colossus, right, we're fighting this thing. I don't even know what it is. 
it's underwater, and that's kind of scary. Yeah, there it is, making those strange noises. Well, that cinematography was nice and all, but now we have to fight this thing, and I... I really don't like this boss. Not because it's an underwater boss, but just because it's a... an annoying underwater boss. A really slow underwater boss. It's... It's really an easy Colossus to fight, in my opinion. You just have to find it at the right time to jump on its back, and then... Um... Get to the head, and then you... You stab it like any other Colossus, but you just gotta be patient and wait for it to breach near you and breach in a position where you can climb on. Anyway, this is Electric Eel here, and let's see what its name is. Colossus' name given to it by the community is Hydrus. That's that's like hydro, like oxygen and hydrogen make water more hydrogen though than oxygen. You know what? I'm not really sure what I'm talking about. Oh, well, I put like no M&Ms in these bags. Oh well, they're peanut. It's fine. I need I just needed something to get me through this boss fight. And it seems that peanut M&Ms are, are the way. Anyway, being an electric eel, its little spiky things there are electric, and if you go near them, and you get electrocuted. Okay, that right there, that was a lack of depth perception. That caused me to waste several minutes on this boss fight. Probably it's a better strategy to just wait on land for it to go be breach near land, but I don't really have the patience for that kind of stuff. I mean, I do, but now while I'm making a YouTube video, I see that it's already it's already been recording for a while at this point. But this looks like a good location to wait, and hopefully the back tail end will pop up, and then we can hop on. There we go, perfect. So now we just hang on for your life and hope it breaches again so we could work our way up. No, obviously. The electric... Um, the spikes will shock you, so you don't want to go near those. That's the wrong time. But there's these lines on the fur that show where it's safe to go. A uh, sh little shock line. And if you cross it while you are going... While you're breaching and you're on the other side, then you'll get shocked. And then it'll do damage, and then you fall off, and then you gotta start over. Do the grab of the Colossus again. Anyway, that right there is the line. And what you have to do is stop at the weak point behind the electric thing. Unfortunately there, because the Colossus was shaking, I got shocked, but I didn't fall off, so that's nice. But yeah, this is a pretty simple Colossus to fight, if you got the patience to wait for it to come up. So now that electric spike is turned off, and we're just gonna wait here, recover some stamina, and just uh, wait behind the line so we don't get shocked. Keep going, looks like we're good for now, but we'll see how that goes. See there, I almost had a full stab and I could've, could've finished that could have finished that spike, but fell off, and now almost all my health is missing. By almost all, I mean a little over half. Same thing, same difference. If you don't like peanuts, man, I don't know how you're enjoying life, man. Unless you're allergic, then that's that's kind of sad, man. Allergies are bad. I'm sorry. 
But I just fell off the Colossus, and mm, now I'm now I'm really sad. Even more sad than the than the peanut allergies make me. I mean, obviously I don't have peanut allergies if I'm eating peanut M&Ms, but some people do, and that's pretty sad. Hey, maybe there's something in life more enjoyable than peanuts. Not what I know, though. You know what's less enjoyable than peanuts, though? At least for me. Is, um... Running out of stamina while the Colossus goes to the bottom of the lake and... Forces you to go back up and... Wait. Waiting in an action video game? That, that's, that's just poor game design. It's poor game design, I tell you. Not actually, though. This... All these bosses are designed pretty well. I just don't have the patience for this one. And that's why it's my least favorite. But 15 out of 16, good Colossus. Uh, it's still a good game. I'm not gonna bring the whole game down because of this. Yeah, it looks like we might have had an opportunity to get on there, but again, that's reception, right? <laughs> Peanut M&Ms are pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, why would I lie? I'm a YouTuber on the internet. You know what? Just to prove that I won't lie to you, I'll say something that's true. I'm not lying right now. You know what else isn't lying right now? This, uh, this Colossus and my death perception. But let's see if the Colossus will go back up, and then we can climb back up to its head. Wait. I have a theory. I have a theory about this game. Maybe the Colossus is going back underwater for so long, because it doesn't want to die. I never thought about that game that way. And the Colossus don't want to die, and that's why they resist. That's why there's a game even in the first place. That's interesting, you know? Anyway, let's get back our stamina, and then get ready to kill this thing. Okay, just to kill time here, because this Colossus is going to take a while, I found some trivia on the website. The website of which the fandom of Shadow of the Colossus gets together and puts together pages talking about these Colossus. So here's some trivia. Hydrus is the only one of two Colossi that are fought in the body of water. Uh, we haven't seen the second one yet. Even though Avion was fought, the the bird one, even though we fought that one in a lake, we weren't technically fighting it in the lake. It just flew around the air. Let's see. Hydrus is the first of three limbless serpentine colossi. I won't spoil the other ones yet. It's the second longest colossi. It is one of the furthest colossi from the central shrine of worship. Sh shrine of worship. I can speak, guys. Shrine of worship. It's the fur one of the furthest ones. Yeah, that makes sense. Hydrus, even though being a snake, makes a lot of whale-like noises. Yes, they do. You know this trivia is pretty trivial. It's not important at all. I don't know why I expected that, though. Okay. What else have we? After being defeated, Hydrus thought that, yeah, hasn't been defeated yet. We don't know that we even can defeat him. Hydrus is the only one that you can render completely harmless. All the other Colossi will, can still attack you at some point, but... Oh, are we already at the head? Yeah, we're already ahead. Um, I always kill the Colossus first, and then I'll keep going with the trivia. Just one more hit should do it, and I still have full stamina. Oh, not yet. Let's, let's just be patient. Hold on. Alright, here we go. Last hit. Let's do it. Ah, uh, nope. I'm just to try again. Okay, this is it, guys. I'm gonna get this Colossus. He oh, no. You see, this is the only reason I don't like this Colossus. It's... It's, it's difficult. It's being very difficult. Yeah, we'll just wait a little longer. Oh, yeah. He's going under. We're... We're gonna lose our stamina. Yeah, let me go back to the trivia. Now where was I? Da da da. It's the only one you can make completely harmless. Colossi can't harm you after you disable all the electrical spikes. So, yeah. That's that's all the interesting trivia that I found. Really didn't help pass the time. 
You know what did help to pass the time, though? Failing to open a bag of peanut M&M's. Alright, so we've made it under the head and one more hit should kill this boss, so let's make it quick, okay? I know it doesn't want to die, but I'll make this a painless death. It won't hurt at all. I promise on your own life. Yes, I promise on your own life that your death won't hurt at all. Yeah. As you can see by his strugglings there, his death was painless. He was perfectly fine. What's not going to be painless is when those uh, those worm-like things get to us and then we have to fall into the water and... I don't, I don't really like water because I don't like drowning and I don't like choking in water, so... Yeah, we better run before those uh, worm-looking things get to us. Luckily, it takes an extra minute when it's uh, underwater, boss, so... We should have a few- Also, those breathing sounds aren't- aren't me, they're part of the game. Okay, that's- That's Mono talking to us from the realm of the dead. Oh, yeah, sorry, here we are. There's that shortcut again. Yeah, well, I'm glad that one finally got destroyed. What's next, Chief? I do quite like this next Colossus. I mean, come on. A shadow that crawls on walls? That's a pretty unique description. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, I guess I guess all shadows crawl on walls. Um, apparently not too unique. But yeah, I really like this next Colossus. And oh, right there was that horseback riding trick I showed. I was gonna show you. There you go. You could lean off the edge of the horse. That's pretty cool, in my opinion. But then again, I'm one of those people that thought YouTube Rewind 2018 was cool. That was a joke. I'm kidding. Please don't. Please don't find me and become one of those shadows on my wall. Da oh, shoot! Looks like one of you already has. <laughs> Sorry about that. I think I just got attacked by a, a shadow thing. And I think they're still here, so I'm gonna have to be uh, YouTubing a little more respectfully. YouTube Rewind is bad. Always bad. Will always be bad. Has forever been bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, shadow person. Uh, okay, let's let's go on with the video. Yeah, I'm kind of living fear of shadows now, okay? 
doesn't really help that this game is called Shadow of the Colossus, and that the Colossus have very large shadows, and that they have ghost shadows that linger behind after I kill them. Oh, and the shading in this game is pretty good. Could be better, but you know, it's got good lighting, and is it lighting or shading? Do you need light to make shade? Or do you need shade with light? I don't know. Anyway. Looks like we found our- oh! The battery for controller 1 is low. And that happened at just the moment we've entered the tunnel. Or the light. Um. Where, where it gets darker, yes. Coincidence? I think not. Anyway, once you cross into this tunnel. It's pretty hard to find tunnel. Then you'll find this waterfall inside, with a giant hole in the top. Pretty nice sight to look at, actually. Pretty calming. Oh, and there's those shadows. Nope. Go back to the waterfall. Nope, I don't want to look at that. Okay, looks like we're gonna have to keep going. Once you find this area, just keep walking. The path will be pretty easy to find. Oh, a dark area. Full of shadow. I don't like that. Oh, hey, look at this. There's one last peanut m and You know what? I think I'll be fine after all. Hmm. Wow. This is the worst peanut m and I've ever had. Anyway, you're gonna find this body of water here. And there's actually fish under here that you can grab onto and swim around with if you have high enough stamina. So I'm trying to do that here. May or may not work. Let's see. Nah. Looks like the fish are too low under the water. Or not. There you go. See that? You can ride around on the fish just like you can the birds. In the PS4 version of this game, they actually have turtles too that you can ride, I think. I'm not sure. I haven't really looked into it that much. Anyway, what you want to um, what you're going to want to do if you want to get to the Colossus, is cross this water, and then get to the little building, across it, after you cross it. But nah, I just want to waste my time, riding fish. Not quite sure how he was breathing while he was underwater with the the <laughs> but underwater. I, I don't really know how that works. But whatever, it's a it's a video game, it's it's fine. So what we're gonna have to do is go into the building here. Jump down here. Jump down here. Aggro can't come this way. Sorry, aggro. You can't ag go in here. Haha, <laughs> I already made that pun in the last part. So what you're gonna have to do is climb up here, whoop, whoop, on these little pillars, go around to the other side, and then jump off. There's this fire here, and it, I, I kind of find it strange that it's still burning, even though clearly there's not been a human soul here in ages. But yet the fire's still going, so they must have some real nice fuel there. Not exactly a fire hazard, but it is fire, and... I don't know where I was going with that. So you're gonna have to climb on these. And then once you do that, you just have to go a little further. And then you're in the Colossi Seum. Ha 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 I made that pun, but it didn't make sense until a few seconds later. Just keep watching, you'll get it. Get it? Because it's a Colosseum and there's a Colossus inside. <laughs> I knew you'd get it. Oh yeah, this Colossus here? Um, my favorite one. I forget its name. Uh, something with a K? I don't know. Look at that thing. It's like a lizard. It's so cool. Look at it. There you go. And it just walks around. It's just chilling. Until you instigate a fight, of course. Whoop. And now we are in the arena. 
Yeah, it's not even doing anything until you shoot it. it kind of makes me feel bad. Not. All right, let's bring it, Colossus. Look at his face. It's got the coolest face, and then the animation where it shoots you. Nope. Yeah, this Colossus can shoot you with uh, spit. I don't know. It spits at you, and then that purple gas or pink gas comes of it, and uh, it's poison. Poison spit. I think that's pretty cool, man. Just the animation it makes where it shakes its head before it spits at you. Anyway, what you want to do here, um, when Dorman said shadows that crawl on walls, he meant that. This Colossus is a shadow that can climb on walls. So what you're going to want to do, this Colossus only has one weak point, and it's on the under underside of the Colossus, and we can't get down there um, without getting stomped. And that is an instant kill. So go up, real high, and attract the Colossus. Kind of taunt them to come up toward you. That one's already up there. And what you want to do before it shoots you? Oh, don't do that face, man. Don't. Ha yeah. Yeah. This is like the first Colossus that can like really kill you. But you, what what you gonna do? Is you're gonna go to a, a lookout spot where you can see the legs. You're gonna shoot the legs. <laughs> I say this almost every episode now, but. I'm in this quiet room here, and uh, nothing with me except the shadows and the, the dust mites. And I'm just detailing how to kill giant beasts, and it sounds kind of strange, not gonna lie. Oh, don't go down there. Okay, what's this Colossus name? Something with a K. Let me look it up real quick. Kudamori? Katamari? No, that's not it. Oh, wait, no, I was right. It is Kudamori. Okay, anyway. What you want to do is when you shoot the feet, and, uh... Colossus will fall down there. If you land on the Colossus, you won't take fall damage, which is, which is pretty weird. But anyway, you're gonna wanna go on the belly and start stabbing it. <laughs> this game is rated T for Teen by the ERSB, e ESRB, Rating Association of America. Anyway, once you do that, you gotta go back up and throw it up there again. You can kill the Colossus in one hit, and uh, it's pretty cool when spirit earners do that, but I can't, obviously. And when it- it's gonna roll over in a sec, and if you get caught down there, it can sometimes cause an instant kill, and you don't want that. So let's run back up and try this again. Hopefully I don't get killed when it swings its tail at me, because that would be most unpleasant. Another thing that would be unpleasant is, uh, if it happens to shoot you when you're going through these stairs, you kind of get trapped down here, and you just gotta- Take in the fumes and die. No, once it shoots you and you're right in here, there's really no hope for you. The only way to go about this quickly is to just whistle, and then it'll just follow the whistle and come up to where you are. And the higher you go, the um, longer it'll stay on the ground. So, really going right here is not a best idea. Well, especially when it's about to shoot me. Yeah, I think I'm about to die, guys. I'm sorry. There you go. Is that first death of the game? I believe it might be so. Let's try that again. A little strategy that I picked up from the speedrunning community of this game, even though I'm not good at speedruns at all, I'm pretty bad at them, in fact, is you can actually whistle while you're up here. That's what I did, just did. And that'll lure the Colossus Grimori all the way up here. So you don't have to wait, and uh, it's a lot faster. And you get more time to stab the heck out of the stomach while he's down. Or she. I don't know. Don't want to assume. So let the Colossus climb all the way up here, and then shoot two, any two of the legs, and it'll fall down. Woohoo. Alright, let's jump. Another trick you can do is, if you grab the edge of something, um, you won't take fall damage. Or you will only start falling, re falling from that point. Which is pretty nice of the developers to do. I mean, that's how it really works, right? If I was falling from a 40 foot building, and then I grabbed the edge of the first floor, I shouldn't take any fall damage, right? Anyway, here we go again with stabbing this Colossus. 
Kind of makes you feel bad. It's just on its back, like those little turtles that flip over. Never actually seen that happen to a real turtle, but you know, it has to happen if it's happened in an animated movie. Let's go again. Anyway, I was telling you why this Colossus was my favorite before, but I, I didn't really because I, I died. I, I really like the face of the Colossus. It's got a really cool facial face. Even though it's it's made of stone, so it can't really move. It's, it still looks cool. Especially when it's preparing to spit you and it's like dancing a little bit. And then it starts glowing. Shoots you. I think that looks cool. And then the rest of the body looks pretty cool too. Like the armor looking scales. Look at that. And they're glowing too. This is really the first. Cl there, there are a few colossus ahead that can also shoot stuff at you. And they all look pretty cool because they all got their little energy source on them. I don't really know what it is, but I, I just think anything that glows on um, a creature's body looks looks pretty neat looking. Pretty nifty. Anyway, this should be enough time to kill this last colossus. Or not, I don't know. One more hit should- two more hits should do it. Uh, looks like I need to shoot it down again. I feel bad talking about these creatures this way, you know? Look at- look at the little eyes. Shoot me, I dare you. You missed, buddy. Okay, sorry, I shouldn't talk to it that way. I'm about to kill it. What you know? Business is business. Dead girlfriend ain't gonna revive herself. Anyway. Hmm. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. I'm a YouTuber. Lure the Colossus back up here. Again. Shoot it down. And then... Last hits. Should do it. Two more jump stabs. Should just about cover it. In blood. Wow. I'm a comedian. Alright. Looks like it's high enough. Here's one shot. Missed. There we go. And another one. There you go. Alrighty. Jump. Okay, that looked painful. The Colossus literally bounced off of the walls. That's a lot of detail animation to go into this game. That's another reason I like it. You know, the, the Colossi are very, have very uh, um, realistic animations. Because they are animals. Some, well, some of them. Some of them are humanoids, but... Oh, uh, whatever. They can't be animated if they're, if they're dead. Death is nothing to joke about, guys. Stop laughing. You know what is something to joke about, though? These tendrils. Every time. Every single colossus. I wish they'd stop with that creepy voice. I don't really like talking to souls of the dead. Anyway, looks like this is the end of the video. Looks like I've been, I've been going on for over half an hour. Thank you for watching. Uh, I'll see you in the next part. Peace and sheep.